Hi folks, Cameron here for Cameron's Pantry. I want to, and forgive me for the music that's in the background, I can't help it. I mean, I do these things because I want to, and if background noise is filtering in from other places, well, I can't control that, so. Again, my apologies for what's going on in the background, because I want to introduce you today to Stacy's Naked Pita Chips. That and also this spinach artichoke uh, and parmesan dip. It's also a spread. There's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what's interesting is that Stacy's is a woman owned company. And I'm going to read what's on the back here, this little blurb. This is their Rise po Project. Rise, Rise Project, as in Rise Up. Uh, staying true to our roots as a female-founded brand, Stacy's is committed to empowering and supporting women entrepreneurs on their paths to establishing successful businesses. To further our mission, Stacy's launched the Rise Project, a program dedicated to helping women grow their food and beverage ventures through funding, mentorship, and community. To date, Stacy's has invested more than $300,000 to hashtag help women rise. I'll just put that right there. These limited edition bags designed by female artists illustrate key elements of an entrepreneur's journey. This one celebrates her success. This person right here, who happens to be, uh, and I wanna give a shout out to that person. The artist is Jade Purple Brown. And you can go to her website, which I'm putting up right here, to learn more. You can also go to uh, stacyssnacks.com, stacyssnacks.com, as well as go to their Facebook and Instagram, and check out hashtag Rise Project 2019. I know this is over a year, but still, it's something that I feel that women should be a part of new businesses opening up in today's economy. And in today's economy right now, during this COVID-19 crisis that's going on, we definitely need to concentrate more on small and medium-sized businesses that women run. Now this uh, La Terra Fina, this spinach, artichoke, and parmesan dip and spread doesn't have any artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. Uh, there's about nine servings in this. Pardon me while I get rid of a insect crawling on my bag. And let's see, there's about 90 calories per serving, eight grams of total fat, Three and a half grams of saturated fat, no trans fat. There's only 15 milligrams of cholesterol in it, 150 milligrams of sodium. This actually sounds pretty good. There's cream cheese in it, salt, stabilizers, of course, natural stabilizers, with a whole egg, yolk, vinegar, sugar, salt, lemon concentrate, spices, Certified gluten-free. As for the pita chips, they're about serving seven servings per container. That's about, uh, the serving size is about 10 chips, 130 calories per serving, five grams of total fat. There's only uh, 0.5 grams of polyunsaturated fat and 3.5 grams of monounsaturated fat. 270 milligrams of sodium with only 19 grams of total carbohydrates 
Uh, dietary fibers and sugars are less than one gram. Three grams of protein too. So this actually, even though it has enriched wheat flour, I usually avoid getting wheat flour based product, whether it's enriched or not, because you lose a lot of the nutrition in the whole grain, which it should be from. But let's try these chips along with this dip. I'm sure it's gonna be really, really good. Because normally when I buy stuff like this, stuff is really good. Except for some, of course, that I reviewed. Nice square pita chip right there. Doesn't smell much of anything. But let's get into this dip. Well, let's eat this on its own. Not bad. Needs a dip with it, of course. That's healthy for you right there. As for the dip, let's open this up if I can. These plastic covers are a pain. There we are. Open that to about half. Ah. Dip this in here. Right there. Ooh. That's nice. If you can see that. Combination works. Oh yeah. Can definitely have these for a snack or for lunch. Especially this dip. Oh yeah. And I can taste the Parmesan in it. That's a really huge plus. Nice hits of the spinach as well. Cream cheese is apt. Very well balanced. Yeah, this is something healthy. This is something a little bit indulgent. Highly recommend both of these. You can find these at hopefully your local grocer. Uh, since I usually go to a couple of places here, they're probably just the limited edition. There were only two bags left that I saw. But, hey, that's it for now for this episode of Cameron's Pantry. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.